welcome back. Hey. So for today's video, I'm doing something a little different. We are gonna be talking about some pros and some cons of getting your nipples pierced. Cause I do have my nipples pierced. I've had them for almost a full year. They are the best thing that I think I've ever done to my body. So I kind of wanted to have like a video dedicated like pros and cons of having them pierced. Um, and so that way, if you're contemplating on getting them pierced, this is the video you should watch. So that way you can get the confidence and you can just go get them done and you'll be happy with them. Okay, so I would say pro number one, confidence is key in a nipple piercing. So I feel like if you have low self-esteem or you about your chest area, I feel like if you don't like showing, which was me, I, I'm a small cup, so I was always so um, self-conscious about my small chest. And so one of the pros that just stood out to me like right away as soon as I had them pierced was how confident I was in my small chest. That for me personally, it was the best choice that I made for having a small chest because now I feel confident. I feel like they're cute, they're pretty, like I, I love them. So pro or number two, um, nipple piercings increase sensitivity and arousal. So yes, they do. Number three, it's good looking and a large variety of jewelry. So this is very true. They look really good when they're pierced. Where I got my jewelry was bodycandy.com. It is very affordable, nice, cute jewelry. It did take a little while for it to come in, but nonetheless, super cute. I do have some dangly ones. Those are a little bit harder to like sleep in. They're kind of uncomfortable. You just wanna have those for like special occasions. It's just again with the confidence it boosts your confidence level to like a hundred and you, you'll really love looking at them after you have them pierced so number four no bras so like i said i do have a small chest but you don't have to wear bras and you probably won't want to wear bras like the first couple of i would say maybe two months you probably don't want to unless you necessarily have to. It'd be a little uncomfortable, but for the most part, now that they're pierced, I really sometimes don't wear bras because they look more perkier. They look, I mean, my nipple kind of like, you can see my nipple through the shirt sometimes, depending on what t-shirt I'm wearing. Um, I don't know, it, I just, you know, it's just cute. I mean, some people might think that it's not cute, it's like trashy or whatever. But personally, I think it's cute. So number five, it's easy to hide if needed. So say you're 17 and you became a rebel or you are a rebel and you want to go get your nipples pierced without your parents knowing. Um, obviously, if you're walking around the house, if your nips are a little hard, you're gonna see three nipples. Your mom's gonna be like, you have three nipples? What's wrong with you? So they are easy to hide, probably wearing um, a padded bra would help um, cover the, the barbells unless you have the ring. I don't know, whatever jewelry you decide to wear. It is easier to hide. Um, you can wear like a jacket or little sweater or something like that and you're good. Okay, so now we're jumping into the cons. So the first one, like right off the bat, it hurts. It hurts so badly. So let's talk about this for a second. Um, I feel like I know a lot of people that are like, I'm gonna get my nipples pierced, but does it hurt? You know, yes, it does hurt a lot. Um, for me personally, I, I feel like I have a high tolerance pain. When you're getting your nipples pierced, one nipple, when you get your first one, I had my right one done first. When I got it, when you know the piercing went through, it hurt, but it was tolerable because my adrenaline was going. I was like, oh my gosh, how is this gonna, like, how is this gonna feel? Is it gonna hurt? What? 
the first one, it went in smooth. I was like, okay, that's not too bad. When I had my second one pierced, oh my gosh, the second one hurt like 50 times more than the first one. You know what they say, one is not gonna hurt, your first one's not gonna hurt, your second one is gonna hurt more. So that if that's what's stopping you from getting them pierced, I would say just do it because it's just hopefully one time that you have to get them pierced. And after that, just take really good care of them so that way you don't have to go through that pain ever again in your life. So number two, um, they get tugged in loofahs in like towels and shirts. And that's, I mean, that's kind of like, I'm kind of very gentle when it comes to my chest area. Um, when I take the showers, when I take showers, I try not to use my loofah, but it's just kind of like in my shower routine. So I still do use my loofah, and when I do use it, I'm just very gentle around my nipple area, just trying not to get them caught. But I don't have the ones that they original originally pierce you with anymore. Um, the ones that they pierce you with are really long, well, not that long, but they are pretty long, just so they can have healing time and the bruising, the swelling, stuff like that. Now I just have the normal standard size, so it is literally like this long. When you go to clean them, just make sure you clean them really good. Um, make sure you use an antibacterial soap. Just make sure you clean them really well at the end of the day, just so that way you won't be at risk for infection. Just keep them clean, that's all. Me personally, it took about, I wanna say anywhere from a month and a half to two months to completely heal, no more pain. I would say max was two months. I changed them right around the fourth month marking. And I ordered some jewelry and then I just waited the time till they got delivered. And when they got delivered, I went ahead and changed them. So it was about four months and super easy, super clean. I did it in the shower so it could just like slip through. And that was, that was the easiest thing. So that is it for the end of this video. If you have any questions, any more questions that you would like me to answer about the nipple ring or the nipple piercings, please just let me know. Um, I will leave my email at the bottom of this video in the description box so that way you can email me about any type of questions that you may have. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.